On the 9th of December 1868, the world's first traffic lights went into operation outside the Houses of Parliament in London. Welcome to History Pod. Conceived by railway manager and engineer John Peake Knight, the traffic lights were a response to the congestion and chaos on the streets of London. The city, which was rapidly evolving thanks to the innovations and finance generated by the Industrial Revolution, found itself grappling with the complexities of urban transport. Knight's solution was a manually operated system featuring three semaphore arms and a pair of coloured gas lamps positioned at the junction of Great George Street and Bridge Street to regulate the flow of horse-drawn carriages and pedestrians around Westminster Bridge and the Houses of Parliament. The decision to install the invention was prompted by two MPs being badly injured and a traffic policeman killed at that location in the preceding months. The signal stood six metres, that's 20 feet, high and was manually operated by a policeman stationed at the intersection. Similar to the railway signals on which the invention was based, when the semaphore arms were lowered to 45 degrees, traffic was free to flow with caution. Conversely, if the arms were raised, this indicated that the traffic should stop to allow pedestrians to cross. The red and green lamps, still universally recognised today, were intended to allow the signals to be seen at light and in bad weather. While the initial trial period proved to be a promising venture, showcasing the potential for organised traffic management, the system was labour-intensive and highly unreliable. On the 2nd of January 1869, less than a month after it was first installed, a leak on the gas line caused one of the lamps to explode and the operating police officer's face was badly burned. Despite these early challenges though, the world's first traffic lights laid the groundwork for future innovations in traffic control. Subsequent electric versions and automated systems went on to become ubiquitous fixtures worldwide.